Welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Escape from Monkey Island. I am joined, as always, by a very small Guybrush Threepwood. When we last left off, we got one third of the ultimate insult. Here, there is a sign that may lead us to trying to figure out the second part of the ultimate insult. Community Rowboat. Disclaimer. The Jambalaya Island Chamber of Commerce cannot be held responsible for the seaworthiness of the Community Rowboat. Oh, fantastic. Let's get in the busted rowboat then. All right, use the rowboat. I'm not picking that up. That's not the button that I need to press. This is the button. All right, now we are uh, looking at the maps between Jambalaya Island and uh, nothing at all. So, uh, can I go? Are you going to let me go? There we go. Apparently I have to run and... Oh, we are still Fire! rowing. Uh-oh. I get over here! How you doing, buddy? Are we gonna be okay? Is that a koala I see? Are you Australian? I don't typically like Australian people. Are you crazy? You could have killed me! Crazy? I'm not the one flagrantly violating the rules and regulations of nothing at all. Huh? What's your name, sailor? Uh, I'd say I wanted to uh, Guybrush Threepwood, oh, sir. Now, Mr. Threepwood, what is your business on nothing at all? I'd cause trouble. I'm just looking around, sir. Very oh. good, Mr. Threepwood. Now, before I allow you to pass, do you have any questions? Who are you? Who the heck are you? My name is Ricardo Luigi Piatenbenga Cheng Nehru O'Hara Kasaba the Third. But you can call me Admiral Kasaba. I will forget that. How do you get a name like that? There's so many languages in there. How'd you get a name like Ricardo Luigi Pierre Omega Chang Nero O'Hara Cassaba III? For generations and throughout the world, the Cassaba family has enforced the laws of the seas. As a result, we've picked up an interesting and eclectic variety of in-laws. To say the least. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I have been assigned the singular honor of guarding Ozymandru's commercial interests on Jambalaya Island. To that end, I have rounded up all of Jambalaya's scrofulous pirate trash and transported them to nothing at all, where they will remain until they become productive members of society. Yeah, how many of them have been allowed to return to Jambalaya? Well, how many of Nutton's pirates have been allowed to return to Jambalaya? Oh, only a handful. It's deucedly slow, re-educating them one at a time. You know. Luckily, I hear that Mr. Mandrel has some sort of secret plan to re-educate them all at once. That sounds like a good plan. Why are you firing cannonballs at me? Why are you firing cannonballs at innocent pirates? Mr. Threepwood, it is my experience that there are only two kinds of pirates. Those who are committing acts of wanton savagery, and those planning to commit acts of wanton savagery. If you allow yeah. groups of the latter to congregate for any length of time, they inevitably transform into mobs of the former. What was that middle part again? That totally made sense. Yeah, just any pirates, you just fling cannonballs at them? Do you really fling cannonballs at any group of pirates you happen to spot? Of course. It's the only way to stop their infernal plotting. Even now, I can hear them contemplating foul deeds against the good and wholesome citizens of Jambalaya. Really? Well, I can hear some seagulls. Yeah, that's all I hear, too. All right, I think I'll be going, then. I think I'll just be on my merry way. Good lad. Remember! I'm watching you. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's get out of here. I, I don't need to inspect his ship. It's a damn fine ship. Uh, we'll just we'll just be moving on then. We need to go to nothing at all, which is an actual place. Yes, road to the pirate shanty town. This is a wonderful looking place, isn't it? Let's look at the skull. Which way am I pointed? It's hard to say. Yeah, you can lead a cow to water. But you can't make it die right next to it. Now you just be obvious. What's important what? here is violence. Right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's move on to Icor. Well, that's obvious, naturally. But what about petting? Now you're just being obstinate. What's important here is she. No, no, what? no, no, no. You're forgetting the importance of booty. How the I hell is Guybrush the straight man here? Let's get back to Prague. Who are you? 
Uh, apparently his name is Hellbeard. Hellbeard? I think I've heard of you. Yeah, of course you've heard of me. I'm the nastiest pirate in the world. Wait a minute. Hellbeard the Unrepentant died over 80 years ago. Do I look dead to you? No, you look like a sock. If you're Hellbeard, where have you been for the past 80 years? I uh, am... Uh, look! Over there! Who are you? I'm Hellbeard the Unrepentant, of course. Why can I only talk to one of you at a time? Because of that paranoid jerk, Admiral Kasaba. Whenever he sees three or more pirates talking, he assumes they're plotting some sort of mischief. So he lobs a cannonball at them. Can, can you tell the three? difference between pirates and puppets? I don't know if you've noticed. Kasaba's not too bright. You don't say. Yeah, I thought the other one was Hellbeard. I thought the other puppet was Hellbeard. You'd like to think that. Okay. You are thinking about the ultimate insult. Do you know anything about the ultimate insult? If only I didn't. Many years ago, I was the last pirate to be exposed to the ultimate insult. In one fell swoop, its devastating jibes utterly destroyed my once indomitable ego. Do you know anything else about it? How do I make it? Do you know anything else about the ultimate insult? It destroyed my ego. What more do I need to know? I guess you're right. How, how to make it and what it is. Uh, he's remarkably clean-shaven for a guy named Hellbeard. You're remarkably level-headed for a guy named Hellbeard. Eighty years of living under the influence of the ultimate insult will do that. All right, I think I'll be back. I'll later. be back. I'll be here. Let's let's get out of here. We don't need to talk to little me anymore. There's a whole bunch of stuff here, uh, but what I do need to do is head for this white building here. It is a, a nice teacher lady out front. Oh, we have to go around to talk to her. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. What can I do for you, young man? This is kind of a strange place for a school. This isn't your average school, dearie. This is the Ozymandrill Pirate Transmogrification Center. Uh, uh, Transmo-whatification? Transmogrification. We take barbaric, foul-smelling pirates, like yourself, and right transform right. them into prim, productive, and polite members of the emerging consumer-based economy. That's the most nefariously evil thing I've ever heard. It's terrible. Ooh, now, now, sweetie. Don't knock it till you've tried it. I'd rather knock it, actually. Okay, do you know anything about the ultimate insult? Do you know anything about the ultimate insult? What's that? It's a powerful voodoo talisman that destroys people's egos. Oh, my. We don't allow any voodoo paraphernalia in our classroom, young man. Of course Mr. not. Mr. Mandrell feels that voodoo is a prime contributor to the pirate lifestyle. He's not wrong. Did you know that there's a crazy man cruising along your shore? Do you mean that brave Admiral Kasaba? Brave? He's single-handedly keeping the great unwashed pirate masses of nothing at all from corrupting the paradise of Jambalaya Island. Of course. He's alone. The most courageous men are always a little crazy, dearie. Right, of course. All right, let's stop being a pirate. We're done. Four games in, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being a slimy pirate. Sign me up. Wonderful. Just go in and take a seat, and you'll soon be on your way to a brighter tomorrow. Good afternoon, class. My name is Miss Rivers, and I'd like to welcome you to Ozymandrill's Pirate Transmogrification Academy, a wholly owned subsidiary of Ozymandrill Enterprises. I'm not liking Just this by walking in that door, you've already taken a courageous first step in a journey. A journey that will transform you from swashbuckling pirates into healthy, normal, and most of all, productive members of society. You're gonna put me to work. And why have you made this step? Because we don't have a choice. No, dear. You come here because you're scum-sucking pirates who deserve to be dragged into the street and shot like the dogs you are! Little harsh. Now then. For the next few hours, we'll be breaking down your anti-social pirate defense mechanisms and replacing them with more acceptable, marketable, behavioral traits. This could take a while. Why don't you come back later? First, oh, uh, let's have a frank talk about pillaging. Why does it look like a kindergarten class in there? And that's why keel hauling is bad. Very nice, Yangya. Yangya? 
out, class. Let's move along to your final exam. Three questions that will account for 90% of your grade. Okay. That doesn't seem fair. Don't get smart with me, Sonny. Sorry, ma'am. Let's it begin. Tests. Yang Yang? Yes, ma'am. Your tofu burger is delivered medium well, despite your explicit request for medium rare. How do you react? Stab him. I grudgingly eat the burger while hoping the service improves during my next visit. Interesting. Now then. Guy yeah, that's not yes, Mr. Rivers? A member of the opposite sex rebuffs your advances. How do you cope? I almost made a terrible, terrible joke there. Okay, we're not going to do that. I say nasty things about her behind my back. I go home and eat some ice cream. I get it all with my life. I transform myself into an undead creature of unrelenting evil, terrorizing the seven seas in my never-ending quest to make her be my bride. That's totally what we're going to do. I transform myself into an undead creature of unrelenting evil, terrorizing the seven seas in my never-ending quest to make her my bride. Ah! Oh my! Oh, that's cool, man. Now, Mungo. Yes. What's in your mouth, young man? Pirate spitting tobacco, ma'am. Did you bring enough for everyone? Actually, yes. Nice. But that's hardly the point, young man. We don't allow pirate paraphernalia in this classroom. He's got an eye Hand patch. it to me. Sorry, ma'am. So how are you gonna do with it? You gonna chew it yourself later? I'm on to your tricks. Now then, Mungle. Yes, ma'am? While delivering Christmas toys to orphans on a nearby island, you notice a passing ship that's obviously taken on too much cargo. What do you do? Steal it. A sail by, resisting the urge to attack? Hmm. Okay, second question. Guybrush? Yes. yes. After drinking too much grog, a friend of 20 years teases you about your haircut. What is your reaction? I shave his scalp and then make him eat it. I take my friend aside and gently let him know how his how much his teasing hurts me personally. No. Fire back with a haiku about his appalling body odor. Maybe in the first game. I chuckle along with everyone else. I shave his belly with a rusty razor. While all the while shouting, I got your haircut right here, Spanky. <laughs> or I have to go to the bathroom. We're not going to go to the bathroom. We're doing this proper. I shave his belly with a rusty razor all the while shouting, I got your haircut right here, Spanky. Oh, no, that won't do. Who's Spanky? Miss Rivers, I think Guybrush needs a time out. What? Mungo. Yes, sir? While reading a book of poetry in the library, what appears to be a treasure map falls out of the book. What's your plan of action? Uh, yes. um, make a copy for safekeeping. I see. And Yanya? Yes, Miss Rivers. Like your the captain Yanya. has plotted a course directly through the heart of the Devil's Triangle. How do you react? You die instantly. I feel a small degree of superstitious, irrational fear, but press on with my duties. Good. Alrighty then. Now for the third and final question. Mungo. Yes, ma'am? A scruffy-looking stranger offers you a grog. What's your response? Down it, Mungo. I uh, accept the drink, but pour it in a bush when he isn't looking? Hmm. Now, Yanya. Yeah, yes, ma'am? A stranger approaches you and asks for the time. How do you respond? It's time to die. I politely give the stranger the correct time and point him in the direction of a watch shop. Good. And finally, Mr. Threepwood. Got this. Yes? You see a man accosting another with a sword. What do you do? I slay them both. I walk away. You don't want to go get involved with something like that. Taking advantage of their mutual distraction, I impale both men on my trusty sword and steal their gold. I try to help the guy who's losing. I look for a cop there with the professionals. No, I kill them both. Taking advantage of their mutual distraction, I impale both men on my trusty sword and steal their gold. Yikes! Oh! Well, I've added up all your scores, and I must say that I'm very unhappy. Mungo, Why? I'm afraid you didn't pass. Your heart's in the right place, dear, but your brain is somewhere cold and dark and covered with spiders. It's oh. been on you for so long. Yanya, I'm flunking you, too. Why? I got every answer right! Yes, dear, but your attitude sucks. This is horribly unfair. Yeah, it so is. Those life, sweetie, get used to it. And then like we you. have Guybrush. I passed. Guybrush. Skybrush, Skybrush. I've colors. been teaching this course for months, and I can safely say 
that you're the single worst student I've ever met. What? I picked lint out of my belly button with more learning potential than you. That sounds like a personal problem. Now, in order to guarantee that you never darken my school's doorstep again, and to stigmatize you for the rest of your hopefully short life, I'm strapping this dunce cap to your stubborn pirate head in the hopes that humiliation will succeed where education fails. Oh, that always now works. get out of my classroom and never return! Oh. Yeah, I may be a dunce, but at least I'm a mighty pirate dunce. Damn right, Guybrush. Damn right. I'll just go ahead and put that away in my trusty pocket. Uh, we are, we are... I thought we were done with the academy, but apparently Guybrush had other things in mind. How you doing? Apparently I can just walk in. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't want to talk to her anymore. She's a mean lady. She is not nice. So, let's uh, go around here and use the fire alarm. Never try this at home, boys and girls. False fire alarms cost lives. Sometimes. Sometimes it's just hilarious. Like this time. That's totally a normal reaction. Okay, we are going to head into the academy here. Just hit enter and eventually he will make it in, hopefully. All right, now let's look in here. And I do want to uh, pick up the spin no, I've got enough bad habits as it is. No, gaming card. There we go, gaming card is what I wanted. Actually, no, it's not. I thought you could pull a fast one on me, huh? Um... Get out! Now I remember why I dropped out of school. Yeah, you don't say. Did I pick up the... Uh, it was a gaming card, wasn't it? Yeah, it's cool looking, but it's not exactly what I came here for. Uh, so we're gonna have to do that again. And I'm gonna have to get the right thing. It is not the tobacco. Alright, uh, use the fire alarm again. And let's wait for her to run out. I do need to confiscate something. Fire. Everyone run for your life! She's, uh, not the brightest person. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. No, I, you know, I have to go this way. Enter yet again. And we can go here. And here we can find the whistle, which is what I need. Gotcha! No, you didn't. No swearing. What kind of school is this? Think you're pretty clever, don't you? Um, I do. Get out! Yep. I'm surprised she fell for that again. Yeah, me too. Uh, but we are uh, actually done here. Surprisingly. We are done with nothing at all. And we are ready to head back. Can I just, uh, you know, here like that? There we go. And we can head back to uh, Jambalaya Island. Where, of course, we need to go yet again. Can I just land here? Apparently, I can look at stuff, but I don't really care to look at stuff. I just want to land. And I want to move on. Where we need to go this time is... Ladies and gentlemen, Hold on. Madame, 